really true? When you take money from the middle class people and give it to the rich, does it really make the economy richer? Does it make the economy grow? Well, all you have to do is look what happened in the last decade under George Bush. The rich got very, very rich, the middle class stayed even, and our economy basically limped along. Compare that with what happened in 1993 under Bill Clinton. In 1993, you may recall, Bill Clinton raised the top tax rate on the top taxpayers a huge 3.6%. Okay, not that huge. But enough that the Wall Street Journal claimed this would cause our economy to spiral into a deep recession. Because the Wall Street Journal and conservatives teach that when you take money from the rich and give it to the middle class, that redistribution of wealth causes all economies to collapse. The Wall Street Journal was wrong. The 90s were the greatest economic engine America's ever seen. So how does it work? How are we to understand the economics of it all? Why is it that when the middle class have money, the economy grows, and when the rich have money, the economy doesn't? Shouldn't everyone spend money the same? The answer is no. Economists teach a concept called the marginal propensity to consume, and it sounds like a highfalutin ivory tower concept, but it's really not that complex. What it means is that when you have a ton of money and someone gives you more, you really don't go out and spend it. But if you don't have any money and they give you money, you're likely to spend it. Let me give you an example. Let's say you've got a, uh, uh, someone who's struggling to get along and he makes 10,000 a year and you give that guy 10,000 more dollars for his family. He's gonna spend that money, right? His family needs to eat, he needs to pay rent, he's got food bills, he's got car bills. This guy needs the money. That $10,000 is gonna go out the door almost as quickly as he gets it and it will get into the economy and it will get into grocery stores and it will get into uh, maybe he'll buy a toy for his kids at Christmas and then people will have to manufacture more toys or, or they'll have to uh, you know, make more of whatever he's buying. That money gets into the economy. Give that same $10,000 to a guy that makes $100 million, he won't even notice it. I mean, Mitt Romney said, for example, that $374,000 was not that much. Because to Mitt Romney, it isn't that much. It's really very simple to understand. For Mitt Romney, $374,000 is nothing. For a poor middle class person, $10,000 is a lot. Mitt Romney throws that off in a bet, much like you might have in a poker game. That's because... Mitt Romney, 10,000 here or there, 100,000, even a million here or there does not affect his lifestyle much. If you take money from the poor and give it to the rich the way Paul Ryan wants to do, they're not going to put it in the economy. Not because they're bad people and not because anyone hates the rich, but because they already have everything they need. They won't use it. Middle class people, they need the money. Working class people, they need the money. Poor people, they need the money. Paul Ryan's plan would not only be extraordinarily cruel, it would not only end Medicare as we know it, but it would drastically harm the economy. It would take us out of our recovery and send us back in a downward spiral. That's why Paul Ryan is wrong. When we come back, we're going to talk about the United States Supreme Court and its ruling on health care. If you want to call in, please do.